Tom Sykes boards his BMW once again. He is the man to beat. A 1 minute 40.963. That is the fastest time that we've seen here in Barcelona this weekend, as you'd expect, because he'd bolted on that Q tyre, of course, and more than a tenth of a second faster than Jonathan Ray as well. We're now starting to see the first flurry, flurry of fast times in this final stint. Chaz Davis up by two tenths of a second in that first sector. We know that's where the BMW is struggling, though. We know that Tom Sykes very strong all the way through this weekend in sector two and sector four in particular. Well, I can tell you that uh, Chas Davies had a good couple of coffees this morning in the hotel, and he's certainly coming out of the blocks on this latest lap like someone who's had them. He is uh, up, as you say, by the best part of two tenths of a second after the first sector. See if he can get the other three sectors together and, and really make some progress. Has been up on the second row of the grid on a couple of occasions this season, has uh, Chas Davies, but pretty inconsistent through Super Pole sessions uh, throughout his career as uh, Scott Redding runs off the uh, circuit there altogether and across the gravel. Yeah, Redding not paying attention through the, the top of the corners there trying to just create a bit of space for himself and uh, runs wide put some dirt and gravel onto those tires as well that's going to affect him on his final lap we now pick up Chaz Davies then making his way in towards the final sector very deep there into turn 10 squares it off to run across the uh, tire tracks uh, over the curbs there uh, coming through turn 11 and then turn 12 it's Chaz Davies down in 13th position at the moment in line to move himself provisionally up onto the third row of the grid can he get it right now through this final sector as I said currently down in 13th position so plenty of work to do here for Davies four tenths of a second down after three completed sectors rushes his way now to the line it's good enough for ninth provisionally the problem for Davies though is there are plenty of riders behind him who are all looking set to improve on their latest lap this could be a very fast finish to Super Bowl one and a half minutes to go keep your eyes on Storks a lot of riders up by a couple of tenths of a second in sector one what's interesting is Van der Mark's actually one of the riders up by a couple of tenths of a second on Tom Sykes in that first sector as well so he's able to get his BMW working well in that sector but we know Sykes really strong for the rest of the lap Yes, we'll see what uh, Sykes was able to do in the final two sectors compared to everyone else and whether Tom Sykes can find any ground himself in that first sector because he's just about to get up and running on what will be his final flying lap. The vast majority of the field are halfway through, all in a similar position on the circuit. Actually, uh, a large group all heading down the back straight all together. Uh, it's going to be Axel Bassani who will get to the line first out of the, uh, the riders currently completing their final lap. Bassani will make his way across the line. It's good enough for seventh position, makes a lot of ground there in the final sector having been half a second down after three but the big story is the likes of Ray, Rask, Atlioglu and Redding all now into the final sector we're only 30 or so seconds from the chequered flag falling we pick up Scott Redding the number 45 Ducati hoping to make his progress provisionally onto the front row of the grid it's good enough for P2 only 15 thousandths of a second slower than Sykes Ray now across the line a one minute 40.921 Tom Sykes is going to have to do it all over again but he's more than a quarter of a second up at the halfway mark on what's going to be his latest and final lap. Razgatli Oglu now moves in front of Ray with a 1 minute 40.694 and Razgatli Oglu could be looking at his first pole position of this 2021 campaign but now it's all about Tom Sykes. Yeah, Sykes here on the 66 just about to come through at the end of the third sector he's up by a quarter of a second on top rack but uh, top rack he's got a good margin in hand over Jonathan Ray we'll wait and see if it's all about that final sector for Razgatli Oglu. The Yamaha works well in these longer fast corners. Tom Sykes then, a quarter of a second clear. It's been 15 rounds since Tom Sykes uh, last had a podium uh, pole position. Sykes gets it right through the penultimate turn. Can he get it right through this final turn as well? A 15 round barren run in terms of pole position for Mr. Tom Sykes ends. It's a one minute 40.408. Tom Sykes is P1, BMW are P1. Razgat Lioglu and Ray relegated to second and third.